think that when you display art, um, there is a set of rules and um, you need to know those rules, but for you to be ultimately successful, you need to be able to break them um, and to take art and the visitor experience to another level. The work that we undertook with Hassel ensured that we moved beyond the very basics of display that we know very well. It's quite intriguing that with some modifications through the eyes of an architect, you can really transform the visitor experience. I think the best exhibition design is one in which you're not necessarily aware of the exhibition design itself but one in which that interpretive journey leads you through. So it's very much a focus on the individual pieces, but there's this seamless approach to moving through. Working with the team at Hassel has meant that we've been able to really be ambitious about the, the kinds of projects that we undertake. Certainly they understand the brief really quickly, and that's a really critical element. They also, when they see opportunities, come back to us with um, ways to really um, develop the brief in a, in a new and an innovative way and I think uh, that's one of the things that I've been most captivated by is that they have the courage to come back to me um, with um, a return brief at times and that in all instances has meant that the project has been delivered beyond our expectations. Turner from Tate, we brought um, our 3D visualisation skills to the project. So that allowed us to sit with the curator and actually plan out where every piece of artwork was going to be located in a 3D sense and then send that back for approvals back to Tate. And not only did that make the approval process and that communication between the Tate and the Art Gallery of South Australia smoother and simpler, it actually meant that the install time in putting up the work was more seamless because there'd already been that sort of approval around where all the pieces were to be located. Mm -hmm.